Jake Ludington here at HPE Discover, and I'm here with Beth Joseph. And we've got some three par uh, racks behind mm -hmm. us here. And you guys made a couple of interesting announcements that mm -hmm. I thought maybe you could talk about, and then we can kind of talk about the state of all flash, if that would be okay. Sure. Sure, so what we announced here at HPE uh, Discover this week is a couple of new all-flash um, solid-state drives for our three power arrays, a 7.68 terabyte and a 15.36 terabyte drive. And it's not so much the drives, but it's about how with the three power architecture we're able to deliver those drives to market to our customers really quickly, whether you're buying a new three power array or you want to put them into your existing array. Does, does so, anybody really need a 15 terabyte drive? Well, you know, the funny thing is, is that we are starting to see use cases for that now. It offers the scalabil some scalability and density improvements that are, um, you know, maybe mind-boggling to some, but others are, are waiting for it, so, yeah. And what's the current state of, of All Flash in the data center? I mean, All Flash has been around for a while. It has, And, and, yep. and you guys have been doing it for um, pretty much years. Mm -hmm. two or three, two yep. or three years at yep. this point. Yeah. So, is it is it progressing at the pace that you would have expected? Is it are, are people slow to adopt? I would say uh, people are quick to adopt, right? We uh, so we started in this flash business probably about two years ago. We it, it discovered two years ago we were talking about two dollars a gig. That you know, in the in the fact that the pricing was becoming more affordable. Um, since then, we've seen the it, we've seen it explode to the point where we do as much flash business now as we do you know spinning media, and we're seeing customers adopt flash in an all flash configurations with like our eighty our uh, eighty four fifty for example, and we see customers adopting flash along with their spinning media in our converged flash array, so like an eighty four forty for example. So we're seeing the adoption skyrocket. Actually, it's been great. Is is flash at the point where where you really even need spinning media anymore? Well, you know the interesting thing is we've talked to a couple of customers even here this week where they said a year ago they had to justify flash in their data center what they're finding now is they have to justify spinning media so it's becoming the default it's becoming mainstream we're absolutely seeing that now do you know what the what the flip is why why now they have to justify spinning media because of the cost I think is and um, and because of the the fact that it's the endurance is there the five-year warranty is there the density is there we're seeing customers take out you know six or ten racks of big iron storage that they've had for a long time and collapsing that into one 42 u rack right so all of those things combined I think um, the people who manage budgets and data centers are taking note of and it's making a difference very cool Good. Good. thanks Beth sure